this call it's at a strip club and apparently we have the manager from a, another strip club down the road um, that went to this strip club to confront a gentleman about um, trying to pass off fake money to his dancers we're gonna check on the money to see if that's counterfeit and then find out who's trying to pass that okay so okay. I came in the club handed off the money to a dancer mm -hmm. she came up to me asked me to check it it's all counterfeit he left the club right away. I messaged other clubs, find out if he's there. All I knew was his description. They said he was here two minutes after he left our So Downtown why didn't here. you call us right away? I did. No, when you were over there before you come over here to confront somebody, that's what we're here for. They okay. came over here and they rushed over here and they circled me like seven deep. And they were like, they came out and they said that I was giving out fake money, right? So I said, listen, if that was a situation, I will pay it back as a good citizen. I am sorry, you know what I mean? Okay. In that, in that type of view. Hey, real yeah. quick question. What's your social name? I'm 5'9". 49? No, give me a bad social. All right, come on over to my car. We'll get that I'll in grab that. Don't worry about it. So we're looking here at this counterfeit money, and we can tell, um, just one of the ways I can tell right now is that it doesn't have the strip going through it that you need to have, and it has a different texture. It's a lot thicker. Um, it feels like there's like two bills like taped together, and a lot of times what they'll do is they'll print um, each side on a piece of paper, and they'll actually cut them out and then glue them together back to back. Um, it's obviously a crime to pass counterfeit money, and then it's a crime to have so much, so much of it in your possession. What if the friends that I was with, what if it was passed, what, what if it was passed through them through the night and came into my pocket? How could I be in trouble for that? How, how am Wait I? Wait a minute, somebody passed something into your pocket without your knowledge? No, I'm saying th the counterfeit money that you guys found, how could it be pinpointed on me? I never had it in my position. You just said, what if the it came only into position, my pocket? The only, the only thing that I had in my position Possession. Was, and possession was right. that ten dollar bill that okay. they said came up. That's how could I be in, how could I how could, how could I be arrested okay. for counterfeit money? Look, you're in hot water. Okay, you're in the back of a cop car. This isn't where you want to be tonight. Let me finish before you even start, okay? Yes, ma'am. I gave you the respect. Give me the respect. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So then we shut the door, and then now you're like, you know what? They do have footage, and they do have witnesses of me throwing that under the car, so maybe I want to be a little bit more honest. What, what, what more can I say? It's like, okay. I'm giving you the honest All right. Truth, All right. Maybe when you get to the jail and he sees the doors, he'll decide to, to start talking a little bit more. We're going to go over to Lollipops, the other strip club, and we're going to um, have the dancer come out, and we're going to bring um, our offender over there in the cop car we're gonna light him up so that she can see him and she cannot and he cannot see her because she's our victim and she's gonna be able to tell us if that's the individual that passed the fake money to her and also they deprived her of $13 so she'll be our victim for the petty theft we're just waiting for the dancer to come out hopefully clothed come on come down, right this on down here okay yeah right this way okay Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, now this guy, obviously he's in handcuffs, okay, for a different crime. I just want you to give us your yeah, honest opinion. Okay? So that that's him? Yeah. Okay. Can we get a positive? Yep. Okay, he's asking to speak with me one-on-one -on -one now, so obviously the, he's gonna tell the you. truth's going to come out a little bit more, so okay. um, I'll see if I can is get there, a rid of it. Keep that for evidence. Right, right now, we, okay. have, right, right now okay. we have to keep it. So he's going to be arrested for the possession of the counterfeit currency, and then he's also going to be arrested for the petty theft from her because um, he had given her fake money and she gave him real money in exchange for that. So he's going to be going for both of those. All righty.